Confused by micrograms versus milligrams, milliliters versus units, or how to actually read your syringe? Let's go ahead and make it simple. One of the first things that trips people up is micrograms versus milligrams. One milligram equals 1,000 micrograms. If something calls for 250 micrograms, that's just 0.25 of a milligram. Most peptide vials are labeled in milligrams, like five milligram or 10 milligrams, but your dose might be a small fraction of that. Mixing up microgram and milligram means you're taking way more than intended, and that's not something you want to get wrong. ML means milliliter. That's a measurement of liquid volume. On most insulin syringes, one ml equals 100 units. So if you fill to that 50 unit mark, that's half a milliliter. The units markings are just a scale for more precise measurements inside that one ml. The number of units that equals your amount will depend on how the vial is mixed. So understanding the scale matters. When you know the difference between micrograms, milligrams, milliliters, and units, you can read a vial or syringe without second guessing yourself and avoid wasting time, money, or effort. Tell me this, was micrograms versus milligrams or milliliters versus units more confusing for you when you first started learning this? Comment below. Train harder, recover smarter, and perform stronger.